Right. Good day, grade 10 students. And for today's lesson, I will be your teacher, Mr. Evan Cisalonga, with the topic of Charles Law. But before we proceed to our next topic, let's take a look back no, sa ating previous lesson, which is a Boyle's Law. Eh, Robert Boyle was the first person to study this pressure volume relationship in a systematic way. Again, ang inaral ni Boyle's Law is dealing and focusing in pressure and volume. Sabi sa law niya that for a given mass of the gas at constant temperature, the volume of the gas varies inversely with pressure. Okay, he come up with this mathematical formula that P1 times P1 is equal to P2 times P2. And sabi ni, Bol, ni Boyle's Law, ah, uh, inversely proportional nga yung nangyari sa relationship ng pressure and volume. I have here a question. How are the temperature naman and the volume of gas related to each other? Parehas din ba sa Boyle's Law na kung saan ang magkakaroon ng tinatawag natin inversely proportional. Kineto rin kaya ang mangyayari sa temperature and volume. Halika, aralin natin. Let's go! Uh, example of Charles Law, when an inflated balloon is dipped into beaker of liquid nitrogen, the air inside rapidly cools, lumabig daw yung mga, yung may air inside the balloon, and the balloon started to shrink. And take a look at in this illustration, in picture number one, this is the liquid nitrogen. Picture number two, nilagay na yung mga balloon, and the air inside the balloon shrink because the air inside cools down. So, look at okay this relationship between volume and temperature was determined by the name after Jacques Charles in his experiment ito yung kanyang napagbulay-bulayan no, na, na found out sa experiment niya Charles trapped a sample of gas in a cylinder with a movable piston in water and different temperature so class what is Charles law? Charles Law states that the volume of a fixed mass of a gas is directly proportional to its Kelvin temperature if the pressure is kept constant. Take a look at on the word constant and fixed. Constant and fixed. So in this law, fixed ang mass of a gas and yung pressure. So we are dealing with the volume and the temperature in Kelvin. So the relationship will be directly proportional daw ang volume and yung temperature in Kelvin. So, we have here the mathematical equation. We have the V1 over P1. Bakit over? Kasi na directly proportional siya with the V2 over. Alright, it just simply, as the temperature increases, the volume of the gas, of course, also increases. Sabi nga natin kanina, the directly proportional. As the temperature decreases naman, bumaba, the volume of the gas decreases also. The same. Pag tumangat, yung isa, variable, Aangat rin yung isa. Pag bumaba, mababa rin yung isa. Okay, take a look at, as you can see, pag tumaas ang temperature, naging 450, what have you noticed to the volume? Nagiging napupunta sa 5. Ibig sabihin, lumalaki. Pag pumunta naman sa 250, the volume of the gas also decreases. Nagiging 3, no? Pag umaangat, umaangat din yung isang variable. So, the graph shows how the volume is changes as the temperature of the gas also. Okay, in Charles Law, take a look at in this picture. What do you feel, what do you see in the picture? Okay, that is a hot air balloon. Have you experienced to ride in a hot air balloon? Okay. A hot air balloon contains a propane burner on board to heat the air inside the balloon. But I, I have here a question class. What happens to the volume of the balloon as the air is heated? Habang naiinitan siya, ano kaya yung possible na mangyayari doon sa volume ng balloon? Okay? So, according to Charles Law, as the temperature of the air increases, dahil lumalakas yung apoy, umiinit, ng todo, and the volume of the balloon also increases. That's why the volume of the balloon, take a look at, yung volume niya lumalaki in a constant pressure. Now, let's proceed to the problem solving using Charles Law. So, the problem would be a balloon inflated in a room at 24 degrees Celsius has a volume of 4 liters. The balloon is then heated to a temperature of 58 degrees Celsius. 
what is the new volume if the pressure remain constant so if you notice from 24 degrees celsius naging 58 degrees celsius sa mas uminit ano yung balloon na pinalo so in this problem number one always I remember that to analyze least the known and the unknown so use Charles law this temperature v1 over t1 is equal to v2 over t2 to so, calculate the unknown volume okay knowns and unknowns ano nga ba yung mga given what are the givens so we have the v1 or the initial volume we have four liters at the first temperature 24 degrees celsius after a few minutes naging 58 degrees celsius siya represented as t2 anong nawawala so the unknown is na v2 how many liters kaya it so um, with this problem number two natin gagawin is to calculate and solve for the unknown because you will use the gas law start by expressing the temperature in Kelvin. do not forget to convert it first the unit for uh, temperature as you can see as you notice celsius siya sa problem gagawin muna natin siyang kelvin so the temperature one 24 degrees celsius all you need to do is to add 273 lang so that we can get 297 kelvin 273 is constant na idadagdag sa celsius para maging kelvin sa tito naman 58 degrees celsius plus 273 we will get 331 kelvin now nasa kelvin na ang ating temperature so, let us calculate and solve for the unknown. What you need to do is to write the equation for Charles law. We have V1 over T1 is equal to V2 over T2. Now, for that, for us to use the formula, let us first rearrange this to isolate the V2. So, this is the general formula. Na po. Now, isolate first the V2 by multiplying both sides by T2. So, T2 times V1 over T1 is equal to V2 over T2 times T2. Since T2 are the same, cancel out na yan. Ang matitira na lang ay V2. So, we will get this formula to get the uh, final volume V1 times T2 is over T1. Para makuha na ang V2. So, let us calculate, no? And substitute the known values for T1, V1, T2 for us to get the final volume of yung V2. So, we have the 4, uh, 4 liters times 331 Kelvin divided by 297 Kelvin. So, we will get 4.46 liters. Since ang hinahanap natin ay final volume at na-cancel out na natin kanina yung Kelvin na dalawa. Since nag-divide po tayo. So, number 3, always remember to evaluate. Um, does the result make sense? Take a look at so, as you notice, ang sagot natin ay 4.46 liters. The temperature increases kanina. Of course, we are expecting that the volume also increases. So, the volume increases as the temperature increases. And these results agree with both the kinetic theory and... And now, let us apply your knowledge about Charles Law by answering this problem. A beach ball is inflated to a volume of 25 degree liters of air at 15 degree Celsius or in Kelvin that is 288 during the afternoon the volume increases by 1 liter what is the new temperature outside nung naghapon na nadagdagan daw yung volume ng gas ng 1 liter so naging 26 liter siya nung naghapon so ang tinatanong what is the new temperature outside kung tumaas ng 1 liter yung volume of the gas expected ni tataas din ang temperature kasi lumaki ang ating volume. So, we will use this formula that T2 is equal to V2 times T2 over V1 since we are asking for the new temperature. No? So, let us uh, substitute 26 liters back 26 kasi nalagagan lang yung isa yung final volume naging 26 liters na. Yung 25 naging 26 times 288 Kelvin divided by 25 liters. So, 26 times 288 Divided by 25 liters. Cancel muna natin yung liters. So, the temperature uh, unit would be Kelvin. So, we will get 
299.52 Kelvin. So what have you noticed? From 288 Kelvin naging 299.52 na siya. Ibig sabihin, the volume of the gas also, or the temperature of the gas also increases as the volume increases. That is all about. So let's put it in the practical way. The practical application of this hot air balloon, no? This charge law is the hot air balloon and the scanning lantern. Have you seen that? Uh, nakakita na ba kayo ng hot air balloon o nakapanood na ng scanning lantern? So the flame at the bottom part of the hot air balloon, same thing with the uh, sky lantern, increases the volume, thus decreasing the density. And we know that object with lower density tends to flow. Kaya pala sila lumulutan ng ganyan. So, thank you and I hope that you really understand for today's topic. God bless.